I'm gonna admit that among the six nominees for Anime of the Year, this one was probably the one I looked forward to the least. I know there was hype around it, but I just couldn't find it within myself to get excited. After seeing it, I'll admit, it was better than I thought it was gonna be. That being said, there were still things about it that didn't really resonate with me. And I know this is a fan favorite to win, so I'll try to be a little kinder to it. But just keep in mind that this is a show that's not gonna be for everyone. The story revolves around three high school girls who form a film club with the sole purpose of wanting to make anime. Two of them are really into drawing and constantly show off their techniques and styles they've learned throughout their early years. The third knows next to nothing, but has such a good eye for business that she jumps on board with the sole purpose of wanting to make money. Now I say anime, but I think it's more accurate to say animation in general. In fact, if you're a fan of the process of making animation, and I mean the entire process, the drawings, the editing, the techniques, the sound, all of that, you're gonna love this show as it presents it in a very unique way. For example, my favorite is the scene where they're showing the animation and the effects that this wind has on the skirt. And as they continue to discuss that topic, one of them keeps adding to the animation until the skirt is flowing more naturally as opposed to it jumping from one side to the other. That's really impressive. As someone who really doesn't care about animation, even I found it fascinating to see the difference. And the show is littered with moments like those. You can just tell that the creators of this anime loved animation in general and were showing off all the different styles and all the work that goes into it. And that also reflects on the simplistic, the simplistic design of our trio. Uh, and it's just such a contrast with the rest of the world that even when they have the sloppy animation when the character is in the background, you just can't help but think to yourself, no, no, that was done intentionally. That wasn't due to lack of budget or, or by sloppy animation. You, you just have that mindset. Their surroundings are also incredibly interesting. They live in a town that was built above a lake and parts of the town have been reclaimed by nature. Uh, there's an episode where they go exploring and they come upon streets completely submerged underwater. And honestly, it made me want to explore the town and see what other sites there might be. So yeah, so far so good. I'm impressed by what they've shown. So why am I not as big a fan as so many other people are? Well, I think the very first big thing is I just don't like the main cast that much. Don't get me wrong, they're not terrible or anything. They're fine, but there's nothing about them that really stands out to me. Heck, one of the girls in the group is a model, and she made such little impact that I often forgot what it was that she was adding to the scenes. The lead is also just a generic lead. She's eccentric, follows her heart, and as a result is just plain dull. There is one exception. Sayaka. Good lord is this character just great, and I could definitely see why she was nominated for Girl of the Year. She's basically our introduction to this world, and whenever she was on screen was definitely when the show was at its best. I also think she provides the most comedy in the show. Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't think the show is funny. Like at all. But she's just such an amusing character that you can't help but smile whenever she's on screen. Other than that, I found the show to be boring at points. And I hate to use that, that word because it's such a broad term and unfocused, but really this all comes down to me just not being the target audience for this. I, I'm not into animation. I don't care about the process of making animation, thus it made little impact on me when they achieved their goals. And on that note, I, I understand that the projects they make are supposed to be these amazing things that just leap off the screen and touch the audience in different ways, but I never really felt that way about them. Now, normally, I wouldn't criticize what they're making inside of the show because it's just really a plot point. You're just supposed to accept that it's so amazing that everyone else loves it. That's not really what the central focus is on. 
But in this show, it is. They show the animation, they show the process of it, they show all the work that goes into it, and in the end, they show what they've created in its entirety, so yeah, I have to be more critical of it, and I just wasn't touched by any of it, so it's, you know, take that for what it's worth. <sighs> okay, after careful consideration, I've decided to give Keep Your Hands Off Isaacin a 3.5 out of 5 with a recommendation to see it. It very might well be deserving of all its praise, but just know that it might not be for you. Check out the first few episodes and see for yourself. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the reviews. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been such a blast making these videos, and it's not over yet. Tomorrow, I got my predictions coming, so... Hopefully I get my creative juices flowing for that one. <laughs> like always, guys, stay safe out there. And until my next video, have a good one.